Clock's fine. Yeah, I shall see you then. Thank you. Bye. So you managed to get an appointment then? Yeah, I said it was an emergency. I still don't see the point of seeing a solicitor. Oh, come on, Viv. We've been up half the night talking about this. Going around in circles, you mean? Exactly! Which is why she needs to see a solicitor. Find out where she stands. He is right, Viv. Oh, thanks. Enjoy. Uh, coffee? No, thanks. I'm not stopping. About this trip to California. Yes. I take it we're travelling first class. Business class. Oh, come on, Val. Nobody travels first class anymore. Well, not unless somebody else is paying for it. Cheap skate. <laughs> I uh, take it you... I take it you've told Diane. Yes and no. Then you haven't. I haven't had a chance, have I? But I will. I promise. Yeah. This looks very cosy. <laughs> Having a little tete or tete, are we? <laughs> Actually, I was just going. Oh, you weren't me. Uh, excuse me. See ya. Why, oh, it's like a mass exodus since I came in. That's £3.60, please. She left him, remember? I never said she didn't. So that makes Terry the injured party, doesn't he? Injured party? You got the police out on her yesterday? As much as I hate to interrupt, could we have a bit of service through here, please? Sorry. No, I, I think I'll take paper. I'll be through in a minute. Uh, uh, that's four pounds. Can we talk about this later? Well, there's no point. You've obviously made your mind up. Terry's the bad guy. End of story. Excuse me. I've been divorced myself, remember? Three times! Uh, bye. Oh, yeah, that's great, that. It's going to be all around the village now. That's just what Dawn needs. This isn't just about Dawn. Vivian, Dawn is my daughter. Yes, and Terry is your best mate. Oh, I'm going to work. Three doughnuts. And bungers a couple of them at Claire's now. Did I tell you I was thinking of putting my house on the market? No. Well, I am. Cash in while prices are high. Where are you going to live? Well, I am. Um... I might move in with you. <laughs> That's really funny. I take it you don't think it's a good idea. No, 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 love. It's just that it's a bit sudden, that's all. Well, we are getting married, aren't we? Thought we'd save a few pennies. But it's not only just about me, is it? It's Danny. I don't think Danny will be bothered. Well, what about Frank Bernard? He's moving in with a friend. Anyway. Time he stood on his own two feet. Oh, right. That'll be three pounds twenty, please. I'm going to regret this tomorrow when I get on them scales. Can I push in? Be my guest. <laughs> there you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't accept that. Why not? Well, you've not spent more than ten pounds. Well, that's a poor excuse. I think you'll find it standard. Oh well, Leonard will have to pay again. She's like the Queen, her. Sorry. Never carries cash. We'll be all right managing on your own later. Why, right, where are you off to? Home farm. See's all about buying this place. Where are you going to get the money from? The bank. Well, that's if they lend us. <coughs> not serious, are you? Why not? I mean, once I raise the capital of this place, I could sell off a few fields, can't I? You know, recoup the outlay. Come on, Dad. I mean, there'll be a lot of takers. Look at the cricket pitch. Yeah, there'll be plenty against it and all. Remember the phone mast? <sighs> I can handle the Edna's of this world, Dad. Anyway, it's what I want. It's a big responsibility, son. Yeah, I know, and I can take it on. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go near it. Look, I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. There's an eclair here, if you want it. No, thanks. Steering well clear of him today is in a vile mood. Tell me about it. Him and Viv were at it earlier on. Like cat and dog the world. Oh, sorry! What have you done? I've smashed that whiskey bottle. It just flew off the flaming shelf. Oh, don't worry, Diane. I will pay for it. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I think I'd better cancel my lunch date. Why? I can't leave you alone with him. Talk about a bear with a sore head. Diane, you can't let Jack down. He booked this weeks ago. True. And we are talking Veronique's. <coughs> Very posh. Very. Now, do I want the Seclair or mm. not? Of course I do. Sod the waistline. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen our valve, have you? 
No, I'm not afraid. Just why? I don't know. I just got a niggly feeling she might be up to something. Mm. Just tell him. I don't want to hurt his feelings, do I? No, it's better to string him along. <sighs> no, but I hate confrontation. Look, the sooner you do it, the better you'll feel. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So get to it. See you later, oh, and uh, good luck. Cheers, pal. about you. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment, should I? How old's that chest of drawers? <laughs> now nah, you look great. Danny, I've got something to tell you, pet. That's funny, cos I've got something to tell you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my place is free at the moment. So what do you say, sexy? Could meet you there in, say, 40 minutes? I shouldn't. I must have stopped you before. 40 minutes, you say? If you can wait that long. No, he's not here at the moment. He's in Harrogate. Can I take a message? Sorry, could you repeat that, please? Yep, that should be fine. When this tree was an acorn, Edward the First was on the throne. This is becoming a habit, this is. What is? You, they're dreaming. I'm just tired, that's all. <sighs> Don't tell me you and Donna have had another falling out. Of course we haven't. I'm just chilling out. It's nice to have the place to myself for once. Don't, Andy. I've got to be at the Woolpack at 12. Yeah, well, it's only 11. But not here, OK? Why not? Because somebody might walk in. <laughs> so what? We're married. Not interrupting anything, am I? <sighs> As if you'd care. Not half as sorry as Dawn is. Well, I just did what I thought was right. Yes, well, he shouldn't have got involved. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, someone's got to stick up for Terry, and I think he did have a point. Well, excuse me. How did it go? A complete waste of time. She says I can't leave the country without Terry's say so. How do you mean? Well, exactly that. She's told me the best thing to do is try and resolve things amicably. Look. Why don't you go to Spain on your own? Me and Viv will look after TJ. I can't, Dad. I've got to get this sorted out. How did we end up here? A couple of months ago, we were happy. Yeah, well, it hasn't exactly been easy, has it? I don't know if I can handle this. Yeah, well, you're going to have to, aren't you? For TJ's sake. Why don't you talk to him? I'll just end up rowing. Dad, I know you're right, but I don't think he's up to having TJ on his own yet, do you? No. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. What well, Dad's for, eh? Planting a tree will be a comfort to a lot of people, Mother. And as the new tree will be replacing one that fell in the storm, I think it's only fitting to dedicate it to Tricia. What do you think? I got the thank you letter this morning. The girl got Tricia's heart. Her name's Carrie. A swimmer. Ladies, thank you for your custom. Danny? Danny! Is that you, Rodney? Where's Danny? Oh, he had to go out. Ah, oh, really, I'm gonna have to have words with that boy. Anyway, congratulations on the sales. What sales? The two old ladies have just gone out. I see they bought the uh, the bookends. Hey, and the Victorian figurines. I'm impressed, Chloe. But I haven't sold anything. Huh? Not again. That's a very nice letter. Yeah, I thought so. Apparently, because of Tricia, she's now back in training. I mean, she's not up to competition standard yet, but... Funny, really. You know, Trisha's aren't going to a swimmer. 
Yeah, she got to water was the hotel pool, and then to cool off. <laughs> yes, indeed. Marlon, it's very odd, but I bought a paper this morning, and in it there was an article that caught my eye. It's about a swimmer called Carrie, Carrie Granger. I know it's strange, to say the least. Oh, they must be two very fit pensioners, that's all I can say. I can't believe this has happened again. I don't know what you're smirking at. We don't know what else they've taken. This isn't my fault, you know. And anyway, we've probably got them on the CCTV camera. Really? <laughs> well, that's what it's there for, Rodney. Do you think... Do you think I should try and contact her? No, I don't think so. Anyway, if she'd wanted you to contact her, she'd have put her address at the top of the letter. And she didn't. Yeah, well, that's only because it came via the transplant coordinator. Yeah, well, the reason for that is they have very strict rules about these things. They have to. Yeah, I suppose. Where do I keep this? No, of course not. Ah, fast forward it, there's nothing here. Stop the tape. Rewind. Rewind! That's it. see tonight? Maybe. I don't know. Look, we need to talk. Right, well, does it have to be now only? I'm going to get strung up as it is. You didn't wait for the punchline to me joke. Is that it? Right, well, go on, then. He was hampered in the final furlong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ring you later, yeah? Don't tell me. You didn't tell him. I did try. Oh, well. I wish I had your stamina, kid. <laughs> Fancy a coffee and a chance. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, yuck. Don't know who's more desperate, her or him. Oh, come on, Rodney. I can't say much more of this. And anyway, we're supposed to be looking for the pensioners. Hello. Leave it. Sorry I'm late back. Took an early lunch. Really? Tell me, Danny, what exactly did you have for lunch? <laughs> and a bacon roll, why? Eh? <laughs> Oops. Hey, get this man a pint, will you? Nay, you're a gent. <laughs> and you, young man, are a hero. Oh, get away, will you? Oh, credit where credit's due, Zach. If it weren't for you, I'd be out of a job. Well, true. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't have a whiskey chest with that, could I? Get this man a whiskey, will you? Oh, and in case you're wondering why we're in so early, the comrade here has been banned from cafe. Just thought I'd mention that. You all right, Cherry? How's it going? Don't ask. Ah, uh, bad as that, eh? Well, you know what happened last night. Yeah. Not easy when your wife walks out on you. Even so, I think I might have overreacted. Yeah, well, you'll have to sort something out. If only for the bench, eh? Yeah. God knows what, though. Let go of him, Rodney. You've got to strangle him. You've got a lot of explaining to do, young man. I can't breathe them my speech. Thank you. Leave us alone, will you, Chloe? What about the pension? Just go, will you? Fine. As long as I don't come back to find blood on the carpet. All right, so I'm sleeping with her. Well, don't look so surprised. I am an adult. Come on, Rodney, I know you liked her. This is well over the top. I ain't committing a crime, have I? You do know that she was seeing me too. How do you mean? Oh, come on, Danny, you're not stupid. You mean... She's been two-timing me. No. 
He's been two-timing me. You really didn't know, did you? Of course I didn't know. She's been stringing us both along. She's a bitch. I think it's time we had words with young Valerie. Ah, oh, well, congratulations. Or shall I say, best of British. So when's she moving in? When we've cleared it, we've done it. So, you'll be living over at Brush then? Aye, looks like it. Good man. I'll never believe in marriage myself. I'll have you know that marriage is a sacrament sanctified by God and not something to be scoffed at. You made a paper to me. On me. Any role Seth and Betty have done very nicely by it all these years. In fact, it might even have helped. <laughs> hey, up. Here's your chance to get it all done and dusted. No, no, we're going to see him later when he's out of field. <laughs> I'm not daft. See you later. Let me do the talking. No, Bob, uh, you haven't seen Val, have you? Um, the last time I saw her, she was heading towards the cafe. Thanks. <laughs> well, and I say, if in doubt, why not have both of them? You reckon? Yeah. If you can get away with it. <laughs> Val! I've been rumbled. You'll soon find out. What do you think you're playing at? I'll handle this, Danny. No, you won't. What's going on? We know. You know what? Oh, come off it, Val. We know that you've been two-timing us. How low can you go, eh? Oh, believe me, Rodney, you can go a lot lower, and have on several occasions. <laughs> Needless to say, California's off. Rodney! I tried to finish with the honest, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not interested, Val. <laughs> Oh, well, I am. What, what do you mean you tried to finish with me? Oh, come on. Me and you were never going anywhere, were we? Not going anywhere? Well, you weren't saying that before when you were romping about me bed half naked. Hey, look, much as I know she's no lady, I think you ought to save those sort of details for somewhere more private. It's good off! Don't push me, Sonny. Don't call me Sonny! Oh, come on, boys. Don't start fighting. <laughs> If anyone's interested, it's a fight outside. Huh? What, what sort of a fight? Rodney and Danny. You're joking? I'm not. Rod us through the first punch. They're out there now. Well, come on, Jarvis. It's such a full of It's not about it. <laughs> well, that's one way to empty a room. I still think we should wait till later before we ask him. But why? If he's in the pub now, let's grab him while we can. What's going on? Look, I'm warning you, Rodney. I don't want it, you're right. Yeah, I'm warning you, Danny. You keep away from me, otherwise I won't be responsible for my actions. <sighs> don't make me laugh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're the one who hit the deck, remember? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. No, I fell over more like. Oh, oh, well, it might, eh? That used to be known as a classic knockdown. Yeah, rubbing punch, you mean? Are you questioning my integrity? No, just your skills as a so-called boxer. Come on, lads, this is stupid. Now, you keep out of this. Can we not just talk about it? Well, listen to your lies again. I'm not to know she'd be involved. Yeah. Now, come on, Danny. Stop this. Look, I don't want to hit you anymore. Oh, is that fair, is it? We well, take it whichever way you like. <laughs> oh. Dad, stop it! I'm sorry, Rodney, but you're asking for that. What the hell's going on, Dad? Look, leave them to it. They're grown men, aren't they? OK, Danny, if that's the way you want to play it. Go on. You don't say I haven't warned you. Oh, I can't watch this. Come on. Deary me, what is the world coming to? Take it you're collecting your results from the clinic tomorrow. Well, are you? Yes. You want me to come with you? I'll take that as a no, then. In case you haven't noticed, Robert, I'm not in the mood for a chat, all right? I'm just trying to be friendly. Yeah, well, don't bother. I might have a sexually transmitted disease because of you, Rob. And leave me alone, will you? Come on, boys, eh? Enough was enough. I'm not standing here watching the screen anymore. Hug each other to death.
going on? Looks like a spot of bother. What are Bob and Louise doing over there? Oh, do you know, I can't leave the place for five minutes. I'll sort it out. Just kill each other! Oh, right. Rodney, <laughs> what are you doing down there? I'm not really sure anymore, Jack. Oh, I might have guessed it'd be you. Get up, will you? You look absolutely ridiculous down there. <sighs> Looks like there's some sort of fight going on over there. Really? Yeah. Mind you, probably hear all about it tomorrow. What are you reading? Oh, just uh, football results. Didn't know you were interested in football. I'm not. <laughs> Daisy, come on, come on. What's been going on? Skin. Hey, Rodney, what's been going on? How's care? Hey, never expect a straight answer from a man. They've had a bit of a bust up over Val. You what? Well, apparently, Danny's been sleeping with her. I know. Makes you want to throw up, doesn't it? <laughs> Diane, you'll never Inside believe it. now. I don't want to discuss this out here, Val. Back room, now. Hey. Danny. Is this true about you and our Val? Yeah. Bitch has been two-timing me and all. Oh, with Rodney? Yes, with Rodney. Rodney! Just don't say anything. I'm not in the mood. I bet you're not. My God, you and Danny must have been like the agony and the ecstasy. No prizes for guessing which one's which like. Diane. Just go home. You look pathetic. 